Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you may be. CC here, Chris, from New York, uh, Westchester County. It's November 1st. I hope everybody had a uh, good Halloween. Sorry, I was unable to wish you a marvelous Halloween. But <laughs> who cares? It's not a real holiday. I mean, it's total bullshit. Just like they all are. You know? well, what's there to celebrate? Are there are no celebrations for flat earthers anymore. We all know the calendar is horseshit. We all know we've been lied to. We all know that the world is not fifty. Uh, what is it? Fifteen billion? No, that's the, that's that's supposedly the um, universe. Fifteen billion years old. I think I think we're four billion. We're, we're not. The, this, let me ask you a question. If we're billions and billions of years old, where are all these dead trees that we have? I, I when I walk in the forest. Yeah, I see fallen trees, but it's within the last few years. Where are all these trees? We should have billions and billions of years of tree growth. Well, I don't see it. <laughs> I don't see it at all. But yet, I look at Devil's Tower, and that looks like a tree truck to me. You know, I mean, I want you to think about this. This is something to think about, too, on a, on a Friday, you know. Say there was an enormous tree there that was miles high. You know what trees do? They emit seeds, which thus grow other trees. And they spread them all over the place, especially when the wind comes. Think about it, though. If there was a tree, or if there were trees that size, these are outspurts of those big, humongous, enormous trees miles high. Because the seeds would go all over the place. So these are little miniature trees, the offspring of, of the, the huge trees that once uh, uh, grew on our beautiful flat plain. If it did, or I don't know. I'm not 100% sure. I'm just pointing things to think about. Something else I, I noticed today uh, while I was driving. Um, okay, we all know the sun is not as far away as they say it is. It, it certainly is not a star. We know that. I, I don't even think the thing is more than 100 miles away from us, to be honest with you. I mean, that's what the shadows in when we have the eclipse. That's what, what it actually shows us through the shadow when you do your math uh, and you figure out the size of the circle should be huge, and yet it's smaller. I mean, it's just, I think it's only 70 miles, the, 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 the moon, when um, uh, we go through. But yet, you can't see a shadow of the Earth on the moon. Why is that? Huh? Perhaps it's an individual object. Two objects that do not work with each other. The sun and the moon. One emits cold, and the other one emits heat. <laughs> and they're two separate objects that don't correlate with each other at all. Anyway, I'm um, getting off the point. You know, here in New York, what happens in fall is um, our uh, leaves fall off the trees. And you have these, like, little sticks, basically, is what they look like to me, uh, for branches. Now, when the shadows emitted off of these branches, you can, when, yeah, when, it, when, when, the, when the sun is behind them, and, and you can see the shadows, you can see the individual branches on the street, on the road. And I'm talking when you're going on a parkway. Um, and we have trees all up and down all our parkways here. And when the sun's right, you know, coming up, and when it's going away from us, you can spectacular colors come out of there and, and shades and all, all sorts of shit. Uh, because it's a magic show, so that's all it is. Anyway, um, what I was noticing are the shadows that were on the cars that were passing in front of me that they were going under, you know, I mean, they were passing the shadow from the tree, which you could see the leaves, you know, but the individual sticks, I couldn't see a shadow imprint on the cars itself, like you should be able to see it on the roof. So that was just something curious that I noticed today. I could see it when they when there were a bunch of leaves there, you can see it does emit the shadows and, and it reflects off the car's roof. Um, because the truck is very high, you know, so I'm, I'm almost as tall as the 18 wheelers when I'm, when I'm working, driving that. And, um, but I, I, I can't seem to make the individual branches out 
Why is that? Is that a screw up in the Matrix? I, I don't know. I don't know. I just figured I'd point it out to you. It, it's your project when you're driving. See if you see that. Uh, the best time to catch it is in the morning. Uh, I noticed, and late in like late in the afternoon, two o'clock, somewhere around there. Um, so it was just an interesting thing that I saw. Uh, anyway, so I just thought I'd point that out to you. And when I get it, let me see. Okay, when I get into it, that the sun is not as far away as they say it is. Forget about the nine, the ninety-three million miles away, because we know that's all horse shit. Throw that out the fucking window. Okay, that's God. We all know that. That's total bullshit. Okay. Other people say it's a hundred miles. It could be on the dome. I don't think it is anymore. I, I, I don't. I, I, it's, it's an object somehow or another. You know, the bigger channels have spoken about artificial sun. Okay, and look, I'm not going to throw it out the window. I know they have it. I know they've made it. They have a patent on it. But there's absolutely no way they could put this up in the sky and make it exactly like the sun. The way it is with the shadows, the perfectness. And I know when you look at it, sometimes it's got this kind of like triangular figure. You know, it, it's distorted. But when you look at it with your eyes, very quickly, first off, it looks flat to begin with, which this perhaps doesn't look like a star at all in the least bit. I can't even believe people buy this shit. I can't even believe I bought it. It's unbelievable. It's so obvious now. But I don't see it with my own eyes. I don't see that triangular thing. What, what, when they're covering the sun, though, I, I don't know. I mean, when they're covering the sun, when they're spraying us with chemtrails, are they up to something? Are they trying something? Are they doing something? I really don't know. You know, but it's something you should think about and check out some of the stuff the bigger channels have. They have spoken extensively about it. But I love it when the moon is the way it is right now. You know, it's a, that little uh, sliver up there. I, I, just, I, I love looking at that. You know, it, it, it's immense. Uh, and with my glasses on at night, I can actually make out the rest of the circle, you know, on, on the moon too. Why is that? That makes no sense at all. You shouldn't be able to see that at all. And you should certainly not be able to see through the fucking thing during the daytime. <laughs> uh, these are all obvious shit. This is 101. This is just crap that we learned the first maybe month or two getting into flat earth. You know, apart from NASA, there's a bunch of bullshit lies. You think you're going to Mars. <laughs> yeah, we're going to Mars, all right. We're still waiting for that, uh, where is that, that, uh, oh, what do they send? The probe out to the sun. Where, where's that? Is that coming up soon? I, I, I don't know. When's the date of you know, that? You know, and when you see that picture, it's going to look like exactly the same picture that you see from the Hubble telescope, <laughs> which isn't even real either. Oh, God. It doesn't exist. Just like there's not helium in our freaking uh, space shuttle. What a joke. Yeah, yeah. Well, how are those NASA uh, astronauts doing from the 80s? That seemed fine to me. Matter of fact, I think one's a professor. Can't seem to find one of them, though. He disappeared, but the rest of them are all accounted for. <laughs> They're all there. They're all alive and kicking. But, you know, most of them, oh, they all have twins, too. Yeah. NASA loves twins. Uh, if, you, if, if you have a twin, you should try to become an astronaut. Of course, you'll be sold out, and your life will never be the same, and uh, you might be choked or something. I, I don't know if you saw that video of the astronaut actually choking another astronaut in the, in the, uh, in the reflection off of uh, uh, one of the windows. You take a look at that one. That's, that's nice. Oh, that's right. They just, oh, God. See, now, why would they lie about any of this stuff? That's the fucked up thing about it is, and that's why people can't understand. I mean, they, I, it doesn't make any sense. Why would they lie to us if all of this existed? I mean, don't you understand that? Why would they give a petrified uh, wood to the Queen of England? Was it the Queen of England? I mentioned this before, which they finally looked at it. It's a fucking petrified wood. Why would they not give her a moon rock? Because it doesn't exist. You can't go anywhere. You're flat. You're stationary. You're not going anywhere. And that's it. Those are not real objects up there. The sun and the moon are totally different from each other. Okay, the stars do not exist. You're covered with a dome. There is no space. I thank you for subbing. I thank you for uh, 
view my videos and let me be a part of your life.